just not something a normal 15 year old has. You know? A lot of people don't believe that I have a Harley. Generation to generation, it's just something to kind of keep passing on. My dad, mom had Harleys. They just kind of led me onto it. Always loved horsepower. He's always been one of those that uh, saves his money, but it's real easy for him to spend mom and dad, you know, so. I play the accordion, and that gave me quite a bit of money. I've always just wanted to save for, up for something, and I finally found what it was. He saved his money, he worked hard mowing yards and playing his accordion and stuff. Probably the first thing that jumped to mind is, I'm not even sure a 15-year-old can buy a new motor vehicle. The other difference between a low and a custom is you've got a 21-inch spoke wheel on that. This has got a 19-inch cast. The first thing I think to do with anybody, no matter the age, is make the connection first so that you can communicate well. You can hear what they're saying and understand their needs. I think Kim from High Country had a lot to do with it. She understood that I didn't want a brand new 2010 bike. So I like sat on my dad's bike and I was like, not like really rode it, but I like moved it a couple of feet and I really liked the feel of his. So they had it parked right there in the front and then, I don't know, I just, I, I was looking around, I saw that bike and all the rest of the bikes just like went away. So we're now the town owner. It isn't very traditional, especially he wasn't looking at what are more suited or geared towards the marketing of the youth. It looks like him. It really does. You know, just something that he would choose. I love it. It's just perfect. My grandfather rode, my father rode, I ride. My son now, he chooses to ride, so I think it's just something that keeps you together. It's really an awesome feeling. I get a lot of girls' numbers when I ride my bike to school. Chicks dig the Harley. Chicks do dig the Harley. <laughs>